All right, boys, the Crew Motor Fest continuing on with the free playlist cars that you win, doing pro settings for them, making them feel better. So that way, if you're new to the game or you want to go back, like I haven't used them now that I've made them a million times better, I actually like them. And there's a couple that stand out. So look, we're going to get into the Mustang Shelby GT500 Tribute Edition, all right? We're going to get into the pro settings. I'm going to throw it in a grand race just to show you. Now, the good thing about this game, I, I say it every video, you can be competitive in any car. You can win in any car. There's drafting. There's nitrous. It's, it all comes down to driver skill. Yeah, some cars are a little better than others, but you can beat whatever. It doesn't matter. So look, I'm going to show you uh, how this thing gets down real quick on the track. And we'll get into it now since literally everybody uses traction control i'm doing all these with traction control on just to show um, i personally don't run traction control it's way grippier than it used to be it's way more stable i mean muscle cars like to just give out on the rear and when it does give out easily controllable i think this thing is uh way better i mean it was already like pretty decent honestly now it's just a beast i love this thing actually i never thought i'd say i'd like a mustang but here we are so anyway let's get into the pro settings what we got here Bloop. okay so final drive i kept long you need it i i have unless you're doing like single player and you have a short track where you don't get up to speed that's when you mess with the final drop but for the grand races yeah okay brake balance i went 65 percent front uh suspension all right i messed with this car for a while to get it right there was a lot of oversteer and this is where i settled so this is what we have spring front negative 10 soft Spring rear, plus 10% stiff. Damper compression front, negative 10 soft. For the rear, plus 15% stiff. Rebound for the front is negative 10 soft, and rebound rear is plus 15 stiff. Anti-roll bars, 4% stiff in the front, 10% stiff in the rear. Alignment, I have negative 18 camber on the front, and then negative 25 on the rear. Now, like I said, I messed with this for a while. You're probably like, whoa completely soft on the front yeah it still turns in just fine uh there's no understeer because of that which is kind of weird usually when you soften it up especially in the front you're gonna get some understeer this thing's good so look i'm gonna throw this thing in a grand race check out the rest of this playlist i'm gonna be doing all the free cars so that way you can use them because they're actually really good and uh you boys know the drill subscribe come back see you on the next one 50 all right, we got the Mustang. Yeah, let's see if we can catch first in this thing. The Lotus just wasn't, wasn't super fast. Plus the brakes, I, it, mm, that's something where I'm gonna have to like learn to brake earlier with that car if I wanna drive it properly. All right, this guy's, Got a decent lead on us. I mean, this thing feels really good through through this section of this course right here. Fix that oversteer problem with it. She's going on us here. We're not going to catch that guy. There's no way. Feels like it's struggling to stay above 200, man. a little bit here why not
Yeah, unless they really mess up. Once they, once you, once either you're out in front or somebody else is, not gonna catch them. Not gonna happen. But you can see how smooth this Mustang is now. caught up to us so there's that that's 2k all right can't be mad about that yeah I think as far as the Avia goes the Lotus it just doesn't it handles better now but the performance just isn't there it just uh it lacks that top end to really get that top speed going around that 270 to 290 mark that most of these hypercars do. And then this Mustang felt really good. I know we didn't have anybody around us to compare to, but that's 2K. I feel like we were gaining a little bit on him here and there, but he didn't like get away from us. And then uh, third place, it's nowhere to be found. So I'd say the Mustang's pretty darn good now. Can't be mad about it a second testing these cars.